I think steroids are as American as apple pie. Dang it! You're watching Muscle Sport Magazine. I'm driving to the gym. Uh, I gotta watch what I do. I'm driving in the suburbs. I'm originally from the Bronx. Now I live in a Westchester, which is, you know, in a suburb of New York City. I'm a city boy. I was born in right smack in the middle of Manhattan. But um, I'm going to the gym right now. It's 6 o'clock okay, in the morning. Anyway. Enough of this bullshit. I gotta watch the road before something jumps out. All right. I'm gonna take Dylan G's job away from him and throw him into the bullpen when you're not even sure he can fulfill that role. So, lots to talk about with the Mets, the Yankees, the Rangers. We got it all for you right here. Memorial Day weekend on the fan. All right. So, anyway, uh, I got to talk loud because I don't know if you're fucking hearing me or not. Um, I just pulled over. I'm in a parking lot of uh, where I train. But, um, all right. One of the things, I got a little list. <laughs> I got a little list here. Uh, you know, because I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys. Basically, I'm just going to touch base right now and talk about the shit that you guys have asked, you know, you guys are asking me about. Clarify a few things, okay? Number one, people are bitching about the video quality. Dude, I'm doing this with a camera. I'm not fucking uh, Steven Spielberg, you know what I'm saying? Um... I sit in my house with a camera. I got these files in this fuck. It's a JVC camera. Fucking camera blows. So I got to change the files to a workable file. Otherwise, I can't even like cut it up, put it together or anything. So sim it down. Uh, you know, when shit happens, shit gets better. I'll, um, I'll get a better. I'll do better camera work, all right? But right now, I'm not sitting on a webcam or any of that shit. So, and that's why I talk real close to the camera is because I you know I'm I'm not sitting here with a microphone. Believe it or not, I do have a whole setup and shit like that. I I could sit with a microphone and all that, but I don't. Alright. I'm just gonna touch base. <clears throat> this ain't gonna be the greatest video, alright? But I'm gonna touch base on just some of the things we talked about in the past because I'm getting a lot of guys answering questions. And I can't do a question and answer thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got guys asking me, do you do personal training? Yeah, I do. It's in the fucking... Uh, you can go to my website or whatever if that's what you really want me to do. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm not here to try to get you to do personal training. But you're asking me, yeah, I do. And it's even in the description of this shit. So anyway, all right. Next thing. Guys are talking about the Letrozel, you know, bitching, oh, but you didn't tell us how to do it, blah, 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 blah. Listen to me, guys. I do it the way, I can only tell you the way I did it, all right? And I do know the way most pro bodybuilders do it. It's usually a pill every other day, especially if you're on heavy shit. If you're on light shit, you could probably get away with a pill every two days or half a pill some guys do a quarter of a pill a day you know what I mean a quarter of a pill a day because it's very strong all right uh, but you can do a, a half a pill every other day to a pill every other day depends if you're on a lot of tests dude I was on fucking a lot of shit okay I was on a lot of shit I was dumping whole bottles you know in me so you know I needed I needed shit you know the the reason why I told you I like the letrozole one more time is because I feel that a, 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 a Rimadex is good it'll stop the aromatase of the steroids but it's not gonna boost your testosterone and it doesn't seem to have effect on body fat the way letrozole does I know a guy who boosted his own testosterone took nothing but letrozole he actually took two pills a day Okay, because he had a testosterone problem and he had an estrogen problem. But listen, the bottom line is he, he was 80 on a testosterone. He wasn't taking any steroids, nothing. And he went up to 400. That's just from letrozole. Okay? But the, the, what I did, you don't have to do what I did. You don't like my ideas. You don't like what I'm saying. You disagree with me. That's fine. You do what you want to do. Well, you see the way it works on your body. But I'm telling you, what I did was I did a pill every other day. One pill every other day. Okay? That's what I did. Remember, it was a long time ago. Alright, the other thing guys are asking me about, HCG. Oh, you said HCG. HCG, you can't you die in the middle of a cycle. That's bad. Bullshit. 
Bullshit. Every six to eight weeks. I know some of you guys read these fucking articles on the internet, okay? <laughs> Doesn't mean shit, bro. I'm telling you, from my experience, with my body, I took HCG and Clomid every six to eight weeks, and it worked. Alright? It helped to keep my testosterone up. The whole idea was even though I was still on, I was taking a lot of shit. So, even though I was still on the shit, if I took the ACG and the Clomid, it would stimulate my balls, okay? Remember, Clomid is FSH hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, which will put, put, uh, stimulate the pituitary to produce more <clears throat> of your own luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone, I'm taking, you know, outside the body uh, hormone, uh, 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 luteinizing hormone, which is ACG, which you know, to cut to the chase, stimulated my ball. So the FSH stimulated my own luteinizing hormone, and the luteinizing hormone, I took, you know, the ACG stimulated my balls, it helped delay dick cells, and it, it worked. It kept me active. It doesn't mean it's right for you. Just because you guys read this shit on a fucking internet, or some guy, or Lane Norton says, I don't give a fuck. I'm talking from my experience. You don't have to do what I did. I'm talking from my experience. I'm telling you what it did to me. And it worked. I'm just going to tell you that. My balls are like fucking hard-boiled eggs. Like fucking, right now they're like plums. But anyway, so that's what I did. Alright, you're asking me what I did, I'm telling you what I did. I'm not telling you if to do any of this shit. I'm just telling you what I did. Alright. Uh, the other thing. I, you know, I, I was going back and forth with some guy about getting shit through the mail. No, dude, getting shit through the mail is fine. All, right, go, all the guys do it. Oh, it's the best way. Listen, guys, guys, okay, listen to me. The gyms are loaded with the same shit that's going in the mail. All that Chinese shit and all that shit. It's all fucking, it's all over the place. Do what you want to do. You want to get shit through the fucking mail, go ahead. This guy's telling me, oh no, boxes got confiscated from guy, or you know, guys lost their money, and never, nobody ever lost their money. This guy probably owns or has involvement in one of those companies. But the bottom line, of what I'm trying to tell you is, okay, if you want to do that, go ahead, do it. I'm telling you, you're fucking nuts. It's trouble. You could a get in trouble, get locked up for it. b. You can get your box confiscated, you get lose your money. Or see, I don't trust half them fucking companies. I have friends that have dealt with even uh, those, what do you call it, those, um, oh fuck, what the hell are they? Those uh, peptide companies. And they've lost money sending it, you know what I mean? Well, my best friends have lost a lot of money doing that. You know? So, guys, do what you want to do. I'm just fucking giving you my fucking take on shit. You don't have to listen to me. Fuck me. Who the fuck, you know, whatever, you know? Anyway. The dirty bulking thing. The dirty bulking and the, and the, and the, and the fit your macros. He, you got some of these guys freaking out. Oh, you said calories, but we're talking about macros. Dude, there's protein in Twinkies. You know what I mean? Maybe they make it with eggs and shit, so it's a complete protein. Does that mean that that protein is going to affect you like a fucking skinless chicken? God, it will. I mean, Colette Nelson even talked about this on my channel here. She, she even wrote, hey, guys, come on. Dude, it, listen. I don't give a fuck, okay? What I don't like, though, about this shit is you got these assholes that are with your fit your macros and the dirty bulk and that are, like, so adamant about it that they're preaching it to you guys. They're making you guys think it's okay, okay? It's not. It's not. If you want to do that shit, if you read up on it and you like, you like the idea, hey, I can eat pizza, you know what I mean? Because you know why? It has the same macros. You could have, like, you got your fats, you got your protein, you got your... Dude, I don't give a shit what you tell me. Just because, like, some broad wrote, well, what about, you know, your amino acids? Uh, pro amino acids of complete amino acids or complete amino acids. W or you can fit that category. Bullshit. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. I don't. I, you're not going to fucking convince me on that shit. You want to do it? Listen, go do it. But you're not going to fucking tell me. You're not going to fucking tell me a slice of pizza, because that's what the guy said in the article. The, the road would start all this shit. You're not going to tell me that just because there's complete protein in a slice of pizza, it's the same as a pizza. It's chicken, cutlet, or fish. Otherwise, then fucking Phil Heath and, and all those guys would be eating that. And don't give me that shit. 
about the fucking kid that won the, the, the New York Pro, whatever his name is. He didn't. He doesn't eat like that when he's fucking off season. First of all, second of all, the guy's got a fast metabolism. Third of all, wink, wink. You know what I mean? How much shit? You know, after a while, you take a lot of shit. It helps. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what these guys are doing. Okay? Because you know, some guys wake up in the morning and popping fucking clo uh, 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 cyto mills, a T3, T4, T fucking. Tee up your ass, whatever the fuck. But I'm just telling you, you can't compare yourself to some fucking pro bodybuilder, guys. I don't mean to yell, just that I don't know if you can hear me. All right, whatever the fuck. Do whatever you want. You want to go fit your macros, go ahead. But I'll never see you on the Olympia stage. You're wasting your time, fuck you. Whatever, okay? And if you're a fat fuck, dude, just not picking your nose for a fucking day and not eating it, you're going to lose weight, okay? So give me a fucking break with that. Fit your macros and you fucking dirty bulking. Okay, please. Don't give me that shit. Juan Morel, that's the guy that won an air pro. We, we know everybody's freaking out. Oh, he eats like fucking. How many people can do that? Huh? How many fucking people? Phil, he can't do that. He won't do that. You're not going to see him sitting there. Please, give me a break, all right? Fuck you and your dirty bulk and fit your mouth. I don't give a fuck. I'm just telling you, I think you're fucking nuts. You cannot compare fucking. Uh, there's, there's a reason why pro bodybuilders sit and eat fucking fish and they're sitting there and they're fucking like gnawing that shit down. And they got to drink water and You know what I mean? There's a reason. By the way, see this? It's not, it's not Gatorade. See that pink shit? What the, where the fuck is my bum? Ah. Isolized uh, Dave Palumbo shit. I love this shit. I drink this all day. See? I drank this whole fucking thing and I'm going to go work out. Anyway. I'm doing arms. Fuck you. Fucking whatever. Anyway. Uh, what, what's the other thing? Uh, what's your thing? Uh, the trend. Listen, you didn't talk about insomnia, you didn't talk about, like, I didn't get insomnia. And now, not everybody gets the same effect, guys. You gotta understand that. I took Trend. I loved Trend. Okay? I loved it. I got hard, I got bigger, I got everything, all the good shit from Trend. I got I loved it. Okay? I'm not gonna fucking lie, I loved it. I got the fucking Trend cough. That I didn't like. Okay? I did not like that. I, I don't know how... To, I don't know why. Go watch my fucking video. I'm not going to sit here and talk about the whole thing. But what I'm saying to you is... Guys were asking me, um, but, you know, uh, did you get the insomnia? Did you get the fucking psychotic dreams? Dude, I get psychotic dreams all the fucking time. I'm fucking... I'm going to be 55 years old. I'm dating a fucking... Uh, Spanish chick for nine fucking years. My girlfriend's Mexican, actually. Everybody thinks she's Puerto Rican. She's not. She's Mexican. But I've been with her for fucking nine years. She's only 28 years old. Dude, uh, no, excuse me. She just turned 29 last month. Uh, you know, I'm like seven years older than her mother. I get psychotic dreams, okay? From that shit. Um, the whole thing about 10,000 calories. He must be talking about Rich Piana. Oh, guys. I mean, at 10 meals a day. He must, guys, listen to me. It's hard to eat 10 meals a day. I'm not talking about Rich Piana. I don't know what he said. I, I can tell you, I've met Rich Piana in person. I like the guy a lot. I respect him. He's a, I personally think him, Mark Lobliner, and Jerry Ward, they're some of the smartest guys in this industry. Okay? So don't ever fucking try to say, like, you know, I'm, you know, like, oh, you know, he must be talking. And I'm not talking shit about none of those guys, dude. I, don't, I, don't, I like... Rich Piana. I've met him. I think he's very smart. Like I said, I think he's the smartest guy in the industry. Okay? Now, if he said to eat 10 meals a day, that's good for him. But listen, guys. The average guy. Dude, I, I can't eat fucking 10 meals a day. And I'm a fucking eater. You understand what I'm saying? I don't give a shit even if I was in the off-season eating spaghetti or meatballs or whatever. And who the fuck wants to eat fish 10 times a day? Who the fuck wants to be around somebody that's eating fish 10 times a day? So, look. You've got to go, the whole, like, the whole fucking idea of my videos is I'm trying to tell you guys, God, please, you motherfuckers, some of you are fucking uh, unbelievable. Listen to me, fuckos. You've got to go by the way you feel. You cannot watch guys on the internet who are pro bodybuilders competing in the Olympia or whatever. Or even me, who took fucking, I mean, I fucking took whole bottles of shit. You know what I mean? One sitting. Whole bottles. You can't go by what I did. I'm just, I give you my experience and shit, but I will, I'll be the first guy to tell you, don't do what I did. Fuck, man. Go by the way you feel. 
again, most people don't have it like that. It's a lot of money to eat 10 times a day. It's a lot of money to eat 6 times a day, okay? Especially if you're eating good food. You know, if you're eating fucking fruity pebbles and shit, and you're on massive growth hormone and fucking whatever you call that shit, insulin, all this other bullshit. If you're on that shit, I never took any of that. If you're on, I'm an androgen guy, but if you're on that shit, look, dude, I don't know. If you want to consider a bowl of fucking fruit loops, you know, whatever, or, or, or whatever, what's that shit, fucking fruity pebbles, I used to eat that when I was a kid. Um, you know, that's fine, but I'm just telling you. The average guy can't eat like that. That's all I'm trying to tell you. It had nothing to do with Rich Piano. I don't know what Rich Piano has ever said. I have no idea. But I do know the guy's a fucking smart guy, and I like him. So don't fucking try to pull any of that bullshit. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, we're trying to get him on MSM, Muscle Sport Mag. And uh, we already got Jerry, Lo uh, I almost said Jerry Lobliner. Jerry, we already got Jerry Ward, great guy. I love Jerry Ward. And, and Mark Lobliner, fucking ingenious, fucking genius. But anyway, guys, listen. Do what's right for you. Not what some fucking pro bodybuilder does. Because you're not on the Olympia stage. You're not getting fucking... You're not sitting around all day. Pfft, uh, time to eat again. You know what I mean? Because you got fucking money coming in like that. More than likely, you got to go to work. Got to go to school. Blah, blah, blah. That's all my point. So, all I'm trying to do with this is clear the air. Guys are asking all kinds of questions. You know. Oh, what's the other thing? Fuck, one more thing. Is it better to blast and cruise or just cruise or fucking just blast? Dude... Guys, again, everybody's different. It also matters how much shit you got. Is it real? Um, the way I would have done it, or the way, I, it, it, the way I did do it, was I stayed on testosterone always, okay? So here's the cruising part, man. You know, I stayed on testosterone. And whatever I could get my dirty mitts on, I fucking blasted. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I guess most guys do something similar to that, a blast and cruise. But, you know, they, they stay on all year long. I mean, you should, do I recommend that? I recommend fucking, I don't recommend guys doing it. I recommend you doing what's right fucking for you. Okay? The whole blasting crew, just some of you guys, too much with the reading and shit. You know what I mean? You gotta get, you know, I mean, it's good to read and try to get yourself knowledge. But listen, those that can, do. Those that can't, write fucking articles about it. You get it? Those that can do, those that can't teach. It's like a high school football coach still talking about his glory days. Oh, yeah. I went to high school 35 fucking years ago. Guys are still talking about, dude, remember the time you played Fox Lane and you ran for the Guys, that was fucking in the 70s, bro. You still talking about that shit? You know what I mean? Those that can do, those that can't teach. So I'm just telling you, stop reading all these fucking articles, fit your macros, dirty bulking, blasting crews, and find out what the fuck is right for you. That's my whole rant. What's right for you? Anyway, I love you fucking guys. I do. I love a lot of you guys giving me a lot of good feedback. There's a few dicks out there. Ah, sent all on. Please get over that. Holy crap. Well, that's another thing, dude. Please. If you want to think I'm on sent I can't sit here fucking try to convince you anymore. Whatever. Whatever you want to think. That makes you feel better about yourself or whatever. Who the fuck cares? Because I learned one thing. It's like somebody blows a fart and you blame everybody else. The guys who are always screaming about that shit are guys who are doing it themselves. And they still look like shit. Anyway, Greg Valentino. I gotta go to the gym, man. It's fucking right there. I'm sitting in a fucking park all the way in the back. I just peed out here. You know, I got a little drips on me and shit. By the way, the herpes is getting better. I've had it fucking for a long time. Took a strip out of my senior prom. That's another video. Uh, my girlfriend don't give a shit. I shove it right up her ass. But anyway, Greg Valentino, MuscleSportMag.com. Bafungle.